What's up guys, Aguirre like with Paltech, and as you can see, it is 38 degrees in my shop, and it is pretty damn cold. So I lit the fire, I'm letting everything warm up, I got my presses on, I got the foam inside the press, and if you didn't know, and if you don't already do this, I'll let's show you. I have, uh, there's nothing in the press, I literally just put the press down, that way it gets all the moisture and it warms up this foam, because what will happen is if you go directly to uh, forming with Kydex in there, and you don't have this preheated, what's gonna happen is you will have uh, Kydex that won't reach the temperature that you need it to be. It will be colder. So by preheating and warming it up, it does two things, it gets the moisture out, and it helps the Kydex get hotter faster because it's not sucking the heat from everything else because it's so cold. So um, this is the second press that's going at uh, three, uh, or 390 degrees. Uh, for 155 seconds. That's what I normally have it at. So this is the second press and let's prep a mold for a FNX 45 TLR1 with Safari Land build. So let's uh, it's gonna be a quick build. It's a rush order. Let's get it out And got the Kydex cut battleship gray 12 by 12 square. It is in there as you can see It's kind of flopping uh, this just got out. It is pretty warm So now it's gonna preheat this preheating Kydex actually gets all the moisture out of it You don't need to do it, but I do it uh, with carbon fibers and sometimes, but like I said, it is cold in here. The dex is cold, so I'm going to let it warm up before I press everything. And this is an FNX 45 with TLR1. We'll be using uh, Safari Land blocking, the three hole design. You can get these at uh, knifekits.com. These are the tall version, um, if, just in case you have a question on that. They have two different sizes they have a thin one and a thick one. I know I did a segment in another video but you can see the difference and I always like to use the big one because it allows you to use more um, types of hardware, the uh, threaded posts. But anyways, uh, this is going to have a Safari Land paddle on it. I don't offer these, this was special requested. And, oh hey, look at that. It's got the QLS on it. Pretty dope. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this together. I'm liking it. Might as well throw the gloves in there too, warm those guys up. All right, vacuum press, steel mesh, like 11 bucks on Amazon. Throw the mold on there, all right, and let's get it set up. If you couldn't tell, the next step is a pretty easy one. Drill them holes, sucker. Let's do it. Next, we're hitting the bandsaw. One good thing to know is the closer to the trim jig you get, the less vibrations and less crap. You know, it's going to be easier on the router. So just take that in consideration, but do not cut your trim jig. Routering can be dangerous. Always keep your fingers away from the blade. Uh, you know, the way I do it, I'm really, I'm pushing down really hard right now, but I'm slowly going into it. Uh, I'll cut out the corners right there, slow it down right here so it doesn't break the Kydex. And then I'll go ahead and whip around. And I found that any uh, material like right here where it's um, parallel to the Kydex, you want to slow down on that because it could rip or crack the Kydex as well. Uh, go around the entire thing and just, just be careful. Watch yourself and, uh, you know, don't do anything stupid while this is going. And next step is hitting it with the uh, the buffing wheel. Now it's not an actual buffing wheel, it is sandpaper. Uh, it is the spider wheel from knifekits.com. This is the 800 grit at 0.5 inches wide. It's the thin one, it allows you to get into all the nooks and crannies. And of course, my extension is mounted on my Ryobi buffing setup.
Now my next step would normally be laser cutting the slotted holes for the safari land, but my laser is inside and I don't feel like walking out of the garage, up the driveway, into the house, cut it and then back in. So what I do is I take the template from Holster Smith, I bolt it to it, and from there I'm just gonna use a Dremel to cut it out. Very easy, just be careful not to cut this because the more you cut your um, the blocking, the bigger the hole's gonna get and you want a tight hole. Who doesn't? This is just a router bit from Dremel. What I like to do before folding the shell is take your hardware that's for the safari land and just install it that way you know you're not cutting your knuckles you're not trying to bend the holster apart get your hand in there and get all the parts in there I just add it and then fold it over just like this uh, as far as retention hardware I have found that using the 0.375 instead of the quarter inch works a lot better with this particular mold. So uh, every time I build this model, this is what goes on. But I'm going to go ahead and fold it. I'll be right back. Let's assemble it. Get a little burr out right here. Get more tension. Again, those are quarter inch posts. These are 0.375. And the... Screws are 0 0.4375. Let's get the QLS on. Straighten that up. All right. That's just absolutely beautiful. And can't forget. And there is a Safari Land, I believe it's 586. Uh, oh, 568BL, which is the right-hand version. Uh, Safari Land 3-hole, obviously, the third hole is attached to the QLS, and that's got the little nub there for your belt. So, oh, now I've got to do a quick cleaning, and this is heading out to Virginia. Hell yeah. Thank you again for watching this video. This holster came out absolutely pisser. I am super excited about it. I always love doing the FN holsters because it's just a, such a great platform and it is my favorite firearm. So um, on another note, if you haven't watched it or commented on it, just in a couple days, we will be picking the winner of uh, our 8,000 sub giveaway, which right now we're almost at like 8,200, which is absolutely awesome. But if you comment on the video, again, the 8,000 sub video, then what will happen is on Christmas Day, I will uh, go on a random comment picker. And what I'll do is I'll film the whole thing so you guys can see it. But it's going to pick a random comment on the video, which can be your comment. And you will win a discount code number for a uh, full mold or a, pro or a resin split from Talon Retention. And uh, super nice guys over there. I want to thank Warner Blank for teaming up with us for giving away an actual mold. Uh, so it's split mold or full mold. One of your, uh, it's your choice. So you can do either foam press or vacuum. And again, your choice. So and I'm not going to tell you, hey, you're winning an FNX mold. No, you could have a 220, an XD, a, a SIG, any mold you want. You will get a discount code up to $80 off, which the full molds, I believe, are around 60 and the splits are 80 So you can choose what you want. So Make sure you comment on that video. Christmas Day, it's going to uh, announce the winner. And thank you guys again. I am going back to stoke the fire. 
and make a holster for a dagger and a Balder Pro R. So stay tuned for that one.